I feature a Bulova on the channel pretty often. I'm actually wearing a Bulova. I'll show you that in the wrist check. Uh, this is a special edition Bulova that I'm going to be showing you today for the VWI. I'll explain what that is later on. Uh, and I recently did a review of the Calibrator, which was an awesome watch, and I'll put a link to that above. Just a really, really cool watch from Bulova uh, Accu Swiss. And today we have a Bulova hack. This is a special edition done for the VWI or the Veteran Watchmaker Initiative. And we'll get right into it. Outer box, cardboard, it has like a spring load to it, which is kind of cool. Uh, open that up. Inside you just have the logo right there, the little tuning fork. On a pillow, we have a watch, and then there is, of course, the warranty information, information on operation of the watch. Uh, hang tag here says that this watch costs $395. However, they are currently selling this on their website for, I think, $319 or $316. Uh, and then if you sign up with your email, you can get an extra 10% off. So. Uh, these are coming in at just under $200 on the Bulova website, directly from Bulova. Uh, so this is a really cool watch. This is a 38 millimeter field watch. It is inspired by the original Bulova hack, a watch that actually helped the United States and the Allies win World War II. It is very true to that original Bulova hack. As I mentioned, 38 millimeters, 47 millimeters lug to lug, 13.5 millimeters thick. You have a very big grippy crown on here. That crown is signed with that same tuning fork, which is really, really cool. You have a printed dial. That dial is loomed, and then you have loomed hands, sort of like a cathedral hand, very classic looking, uh, very good looking hands on this watch. And then of course it is signed Bulova there at the 12 o'clock, right above the six o'clock it is also signed and that is signed uh, just automatic. Um, the dial is black and it is sort of like a matte finish. The entire watch is brushed and or bead blasted. The only polishing is on the actual case back, but this is a special edition, as I mentioned, for the Veteran Watchmaker Initiative. So there is an inlay of glass on the back and that is the logo for their uh, sort of initiative, which is really, really cool. They've done a really nice job on this watch. Beautiful strap which is just a green canvas strap, but it's nice. It's a two piece NATO sort of. Um, and then it is a signed buckle hardware on, on this buckle is awesome. Just really, really solid keepers on here, obviously metal that match that brushed case. And then the signed buckle just all brushed. Looks beautiful. Uh, we will do a loom shot at the end because we do have loom. Uh, you do get a K1 or a hardened mineral crystal. It is domed and boxed. So it does add to that 13.5 millimeters of thickness, as you can see, uh, which is not bad. It's not terrible for a field watch. It does work 30 meters of water resistance, so uh, not too incredible there. But uh, those are the two downsides of this watch, I think, the 30 meters of water resistance and then that uh, mineral crystal. However, for the price around $290, I think this is a really good watch for that price, especially considering the history and just the general style of the watch, the look of the watch, it's really, really nice. It gets the Miyota 8S20, so it does hack. So when I do pull the crown, it does hack, so it's true to the name. Usually the Miyota 8000 series do not hack, but obviously they've made an adjustment here and this does, which is really good. Um, just putting the crown back in so you can see, and there it has started up again. Uh, I'm gonna throw it on my wrist so you guys can see, but let me explain the actual uh, program that this actually supports. 10% of the proceeds of this watch, sales of this watch actually go to the VWI. And what's different about this is that you can go on the Bulova website right now. You could buy one of these. You could buy one with a cream dial, which is a regular edition, or another black dial, which is a regular edition. However, they are charging the exact same price they are for this watch. So if you choose this watch over the others, you are actually supporting the VWI, which helps veterans get jobs as watchmakers. It's the Veteran Watchmaker Initiative and specifically disabled veterans, which is really, really a good cause. Uh, and it's pretty awesome, I think. In my opinion, this is awesome and a no brainer. If you are in the market for a bull of a hack, buy this special edition. It doesn't cost you anything extra. And I have to say that is awesome of bull of it to do that. I have had many special editions on this channel before, and usually if it's a special edition and 10% is going to X, Y, or Z charity, 
the brand charges an extra 10% on top of the price. And if they have the same exact edition, and actually I pointed this out for another brand and they were supporting a veteran and all of this stuff, which was really nice. However, the watch that normally retail for $500, they were charging $550 for it. So no one would have bought it because they're literally passing on that cost to you. They're really not donating it. They're just making you pay $50 more. Boulevard aren't doing that. They're giving you the opportunity to donate 10% of their profit to the VWI. That's awesome. Uh, so I just want to make that clear, and I think that's really, really cool. Uh, very quickly, I'm going to throw it on my wrist, then we're going to do a loom shot. Today, I am wearing the Boulevard Murin. This is a really, really cool sort of Boulevard dress watch slash field watch. It is from their AccuSwiss line, a discontinued line of Boulevard watches. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I recently reviewed the Boulevard Calibrator. That was from that same line, a really, really cool watch. Um, just an awesome watch with a beautiful, beautiful dial on it. Review for this is actually coming out pretty soon. I don't think this is limited. I think that they're gonna keep on making these for a while and then I guess, Eventually, they will just stop making them. I don't think they're limited to any sort of number. It doesn't say that on their website, at least. But you can see, 38 millimeters, 47 millimeters lug to lug, 13.5 millimeters thick, including that domed mineral crystal. And it wears perfectly on my seven and a half inch wrist. It really, really does. I really like this watch a lot. Just a really good looking watch, really good looking dial, that 24 hour track in the middle, 12 hour track on the outer uh, ring. Just awesome, and it has very, very good loom. So let's do a really quick loom shot, and then we'll wrap up the video. So just a great watch, really good loom, very good looking, great size, very wearable, everyday, 38 millimeter, you know, just everyday field watch. If you're looking for something really cool, uh, something that has a lot of history that isn't expensive from a major brand, there's really not much out there that you can get that is as cool as this watch, plus that 10% goes to the VWI, which is awesome. Just a really, really great cause. Helps veterans, disabled veterans. Uh, why not? It's just a great cause. So definitely check their website out. I will put a link to the uh, to this watch specifically on the Bulova website below. Um, so definitely check them out. Uh, but tell me what you guys think in the comments below of this watch. In general, I, I wanna hear from you guys. I love it. I know a lot of people sort of compare this to the Hamilton. Um, I definitely would own both, in my opinion. I think they're awesome watches, tons of history, uh, especially if you like a field watch. These are great watches. They really, uh, you cannot go wrong with them. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon if you click those links and buy anything. Anything at all, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.